Hello, my name is Dernan, and this is the beginning of a large project. I'm going to be recording um, in stages. I won't record every mi last minute of it. Um, as I build a, a railroad in twa Trains 12. And uh, this here is the beginning of it. It's a large yard, and it serves a large city. Um, I haven't built the engine facilities. That'll be my next uh, uh, next stage on this uh, rail yard. And uh, the rail yard uh, is important because this is the very northern end of the whole route. Um, this large city is going to have a port off in this direction over here. Um, it will have lots of docks uh, serving um, both. Uh, stuff you might see in the steam era as well as modern container ships and, and everything in between. Off in this distance will be downtown with the uh, train station um, for passengers and the whole thing and there will be lots of industries in this area. These tracks here at the north end of the yard will be kind of where all the, the stuff is gathered from all these uh, different industries and, and docks and whatnot as well as trains coming from off the map will come into the yard here. This one lone track right here is the main line and these are the, the yard uh, tracks. And then this section of the yard down here is going to be um, where the, the trains are, are organized uh, to head further south on the, rail, on the uh, railroad. Uh, the theme that I want to go with in this area is the Pacific Northwest, where I, I live. And so this city uh, is going to resemble, I think, um, I hope, uh, cities like Tacoma and Seattle and Portland. Um, so it, the industries and the uh, terrain, the geography, um, We'll have uh, green hills and, and mountains in the distance. There'll be obviously the, the water uh, for the port and uh, rain, I'm sure, you know, whatever I can do to, to give it this uh, northwestern uh, port city feel. I have not named it yet. Um, if you have any ideas, go ahead and throw them in the, in the uh, comments. Um, uh, yeah, like I said, the engine facilities I, I am going to do next. To the south, the railroad will um, head through a large wide valley similar to um, the Willamette Valley. Um, uh, and it will be filled with farming and uh, there will be a river that uh, the railroad passes over a few times. There will be a, uh, probably a small town or two in there um, with some light industry, etc the southern end of the valley there will be a, another city not nearly as big as this one but it will be where um, all the, the resources and uh, everything that have been collected in the valley that is headed south will gather at the yard there and trains headed then up over the mountains uh, will get, get helper engines or whatever they need and um, and head on over the mountains. And the mountains, uh, again, will be like the northwest. With uh, there'll be the Cascades, or, or similar to them, with uh, heavy forests and and uh, some steep grades and tunnels and bridges and the whole whole works there. Beyond that, there uh, the railroad will then cross a high plateau with uh, scrub, and and there'll probably be another small town or two. Uh, scrub brush and, and and all that kind of stuff before it finally reaches another large city which will kind of serve as a hub um, it will connect my railroad to everything to the east and and so anything coming and going from the, the side will head to that city and then get uh, get sent out uh, again off world just like uh, stuff uh, coming into this city would um, from other directions. But that city isn't the end of the world, uh, end of the route, it's only the halfway point. From there it will uh, continue south, turning towards the southwest, 
um, and cross a, more of the high plateau before descending into a canyon. And um, and then at the end of the canyon, which which won't be very long, but it will it'll be kind of similar to the, the Grand Canyon, though the Grand Canyon doesn't have a railroad descending into it. Um, but uh, it'll have definitely some some of that desert canyon uh, feel to it. Then it'll descend into a, into a painted desert uh, or or something similar to that, what you would see in the Southwest, in Arizona and New Mexico and and the like. And um, so there'll be a lot of, of uh, buttes and plateaus and beautiful reds and, and uh, all the colors of the desert there. Um, again, probably another uh, medium-sized city um, and some small towns. Um, and then finally, after passing through the desert, it'll, it'll uh, descend through some more hills into... Um, the final city at the south end of my railroad, which will be similar to Los Angeles, and it'll be another port city um, with uh, a lot of industries and, and stuff like that. Uh, there will be industries all throughout the railroad, um, and in many ways, uh, the, I want the railroad, the, the industries, and the railroad in those areas to resemble what there is in the, the United States uh, and the West. Um, so, at this point, though, that all is a long way off. I haven't named anything, um, and, and a lot of it is, is little more than a vague idea in my mind. I have drawn a map, but it's not very detailed. And, uh, if you, if you have any ideas for names, anything you think would be interesting, uh, go ahead and, and put it in the comments section. In the meanwhile, um, I'm going to uh, get to work on on the uh, rail facilities here. Uh, like I said, uh, it'll have everything from from Southern Pacific uh, steam engines to modern BNSF diesels and everything in between. I'm not modeling any specific era, um, so I don't even have a name for the railroad. Uh, you could call it the nothing specific, I guess. But uh, anyway. Uh, I'll uh, I'll get to work on this and I'll talk to you later. Hello, as you can see, I've added the uh, engine facilities now. Um, added uh, there's a cooling tower for these uh, for steam engines. Got two tracks running through it. This track here is to dump coal off to put into the tower. Down here we've got sanding towers. These two are for uh, diesels, so we got the diesel fueling. Uh, racks right there. There's uh, the water tower and the water uh, columns to, to put water in the uh, tenders of the uh, steam engines. And back here we've got the, the big old roundhouse, the turntable. Um, and I uh, figured it should be a big one since this is the uh, large city to the, uh, the one end of the, uh, the whole route. Here we've got our uh, ash tracks uh, to dump the ash from the, uh, the steam engines and again a track to uh, pick it up uh, to haul the ash away. And uh, back here we've got uh, a four track diesel shop uh, for uh, maintaining and repairing our, our diesel engines. Uh, it can be done over here too in the roundhouse, but this is for uh, more in-depth work. Um, and down here is the small office building where all the records and whatnot are kept for the whole whole yard. And, uh, and over here, I added a couple tracks, uh, uh, probably for uh, uh, to put cabooses on, cabis, and uh, and whatnot. Uh, it took me a good long while to, to get all this stuff in here. Um, I had to go on to the uh, download station and uh, look for some, some buildings to, to work because I didn't really care for many of the buildings uh, that actually came with the game. Fortunately, these are all free, so uh, uh, if I ever put this uh, route up uh, for others to use, um, 
all these different things will also be available for them, uh, for uh, for it, uh, for other people. Um, and getting the track, as you can tell, it's kind of a nice maze of tracks going everywhere here. Tried to keep it as simple as I could, um, but uh, make sure that everything could access everything else. Uh, got some garden tracks as well as the tracks inside the, the roundhouse and uh, I hope that uh, along with uh, we got some track buried right here let me fix that that uh, all this stuff will uh, I hope um, there we go um, makes for some interesting work um, here, uh, running the engines around and and uh, and making everything, uh, making all that, making building the trains and, and all that kind of stuff. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do in this area is going to be terrain. Um, I think I'm going to put a river that goes around back here on the, this side over here, and beyond that uh, hills, the river will pass under the the main line over here somewhere and head off in that direction. Over on this side uh, I'll put hills in the distance but most of this flat area will be uh, suburbs and, and city streets and houses and small stores and shops. Uh, over here will be uh, industries uh, and whatnot and as, as I mentioned before off in the distance will be the port over there and then off over this way will be the city's downtown district with uh, the main uh, passenger station. So there's still lots to do, and uh, and uh, I'm actually really enjoying this. Putting down these tracks can be kind of a pain in the butt, and searching through all the, the structures over here can to find just the one you want can be a bit of a pain. There is a search tool over here which helps a lot, but uh, naming conventions, well, there aren't any. Um, so, uh, different things could be named different, uh, or the same thing may fall under different names. And um, So, you know, is that a, a shop or a shed? Is it for engines? Is it under locomotives? It could be uh, a little difficult to find exactly what you're looking for. But, um, finding just the right piece, whether it's already installed or you can get it off the download station or whatnot. When you've got uh, got it built up like this, um, it's really nice. And uh, so next thing will be the terrain, and then I'll do some some painting of the the the, the ground. Um, get that dirt and the grass and whatnot in there, and then I'll put in more more buildings and uh, everything else. And so uh, thank you for uh, joining me, and I'll see you next time.